I have Chef Ray, who's the pastry chef for Madison's. And Ray, this is one of our first times, other than a charity event, that we've really worked on TV. Exactly. And I didn't fly until 5.30 this morning. I was not going to miss this, because <laughs> you're making a special dessert. What I am. Making? Well, we're in the height of summer, so what better to use right now than peaches? Absolutely. Stone fruit is absolutely delicious right now. Everything is ripe and ready to go. So I'm making you a fresh peach and almond tart. Oh, and it's really, we're going to, Ray's going to empower you to make a tart because I'm not good at pie crust. And if he can teach me, he can teach you. So why don't you stay with us throughout the hour? We're going to make this beautiful peach almond tart, get a lot of baking tips from you because you're the man who, before <laughs> you even got to the studio today, was busy decorating a few cakes and making some other things. So we'll have plenty of great baking tips to go For as sure. we start to make peach almond tart in just a few minutes. Thanks for being here. Oh, Ray. you're quite welcome. Thank you. So here it is, the perfect tart crust. Ray, give us some tips on how to work with the tart crust and getting it into the pan. The biggest tip that I can give you is you have to work with it cold. Okay. Your butter has to be cold, your water has to be cold, everything needs to be cold. And this crust I actually made yesterday and I chilled it overnight in a walk-in. So this is still definitely got some it does, it's right, cold. exactly. Because it's the it's the layers of butter mm -hmm. that it gives you your flakiness. If your butter is all melted, your dough is going to be hard and solid and, and crunchy. We don't want that. We you want, want the flakes. You want a flaky dough, exactly. Okay, so you rolled it out. I rolled it out. And I know a lot of people have problems when they're afraid to get it into the pan. Right. Well, oh. I find that if I just put it onto a little cake board, then Brilliant. I slide it right over the top, it slides right off. Oops. Well, it should slide right It should right slide off. right there off. There we go. There we go. Hey, and it that's goes a great right tip. into your tart shell. And if it rips or tears, no problem. Rip a piece off, patch it up. Especially who's going to know? A tart pan is pretty forgiving. Exactly. Right? No one's going to know. And if this, is, if you're still afraid of crust, by all means, go to the grocery store, and you can get the crust that's already rolled out, ready to right. go. Right. Okay. Sounds but, good. But, but this is better. I, and so make it the day before, <laughs> get that air conditioner on really high this time of year, but it is, there's nothing like homemade. So, and you're really kind of just working it enough, pressing down on the sides now to the, uh, Exactly. <laughs> and another trick that I have with this as well is I like to poke Perfect. it with a fork. Okay. And then I like to put it in the freezer and freeze it. Good. And then I try to bake it, even with the tart that we're making today, I actually pre-bake the shell just a little bit. And that will make sure that your shell is crisp. And that's, I don't like when it's soggy, you know, and it's, I have to mention the leftover dough. When I was a child, my Nana used to make homemade blintzes and homemade tarts, and she always left me the extra crust. And I'd be out there with a baking pan, and whatever filling she was using, I got some too, and made my own little bizarre little pie that she always said was better than hers. So exactly. you gave us a tip, right? Hey, thank you. My father used to do the same thing, but he always rolled it with butter and cinnamon sugar and make little pinwheels. Oh. So every time there was crust left over at the holidays, we were making pies and things. We're going we to make cinnamon pinwheels. pinwheels while we go on break. But when we come back, it's time to learn about the filling for this great summertime dessert. And sign me up for this great peach tart. So uh -huh. you started on one side. Show yes. us what you're doing to the tart now. Well, this is my um, almond filling. Um, we also call it frangipan. Mm -hmm. It is um, blanched almonds, butter, egg, and sugar. And then you put it in the food processor until you get this paste. And I like Beautiful. that. It just gives another layer of flavor there. Exactly. And then we're going to arrange our peaches in a circle all the way around. Peeled peaches. Peeled peaches, exactly. You want them firm. You want them ripe, but still firm. You don't want them too soft. And again, if you don't have peaches, you can use nectarines. You can use plums. You can use figs. Apricots. Apples. Apricots. I love it. I, I mean, love so this will work with any fruit, fruit like that. Perfect. So we're going to just continue and fill up the mm -hmm. entire pan and then go around the center. And okay. then we're going to pop this in the oven. Great. And we happen to have one. And we Just have one ready. It's ready to come out. Oh, and it looks beautiful. Oh, look at that. And can you smell it? Oh, man. And I can tell that crust is going to be so flaky. So then what I like to do next is I like to give it a little glaze on top. And it's going to mm -hmm. give it a nice shine. And this is an apricot glaze. You can buy apricot preserves. And if it's a cup of preserves, add a cup of hot water to it, throw it in the microwave for a minute. Brilliant. And then just brush this right over the top. 
And this also, this glaze is just really nice in the morning on your croissant or oh, your pancakes as well. Oh, definitely. I love apricot. Me I really do. Me too. And that's just going to make it nice, nice and shiny. And look like a professional pastry chef made your tart. Exactly. <laughs> this tart is so easy. It, it really, really is. It really is simple. And everybody's going to think mm. it was so difficult and there's absolutely nothing to it. I love, love it. it and then on top, we'll we have put some slivered some almonds. Slivered almonds that I've yeah. roasted in the oven for a couple minutes. Nice and texture, and again, that almond flavor exactly. after the base. Love it. And that. And then we're going to serve that with some gelato that I've made, some raspberries, and the raspberry sauce. Gelato that he just made. This I is going to be the most delicious tasting tart, and I'm very excited to try it in just a few minutes. So stay with us. It's time for a taste, and we'll let you know where you can find the recipe in just a few minutes. And welcome back. It's a great time, right? <laughs> I think you need to cut into this. Yes, this is the beautiful time. Beautiful peach and almond tart. And tell us about the gelato you made, because it does not have sugar. It does not have any sugar. I, made, I make all my own gelatos at the restaurant. Homemade. Every day Yum. we have four flavors on the menu at all times. But this is made with honey, local honey, Love creme it. fraiche, half and half, and vanilla. That's it. There's nothing artificial. There's nothing that we don't know how to pronounce. I don't know. I just looked at Scott Dennis to see if he'll give me approval on my little diet protocol to, to have a taste since it sounds like it's healthy. <laughs> so oh, I put a little beautiful. bit of raspberry sauce because, again, I think raspberries and peaches go so well together. And I put a know couple little we raspberries have to go, and we so have to I'm have quickly some gelato. Will I bite in. I'm going to remind you, you can go on mysuncoast.com and click on the dining page. You're going to see so many great recipes, videos, and find out more about all our restaurant partners on the page. Ray, it's been a delight. I look forward oh. to more baking together. Thank you so much. Anytime. 